Can you just right here? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be sitting here and share with you guys an honest review about the XT32. I have been using it uh, roughly about nine months now. So what I dislike about it and what I like about it, I will share with you guys in this video. So you guys can make your own adjustment, whether you should buy this or not. Okay, so first I will talk about what I like about this one. This Fuji Film model was released in the October of 2021. It has a quite compact and vintage design. My hands are quite small, so the first thing I like about it is it's very easy to carry around. I feel very comfortable holding it. It also has a little brief view in here. It just fits into my hand like a glove. Compared with the XT5 Fuji Film, this body is lighter, so you can bring it anywhere you want to go. And the vintage look of it, also a plus. It looks good in any photo. You can see that if I wear its crossbody like this, it has a very unique nostalgic look, and it also can be considered as a pretty cute accessory when you're traveling. The second thing is about the price. It won't hurt your pocket too much compared to the X105 or, or XT5. You just have to spend around 1250 for this camera. That price is not only the body, but also come with a basic lens, which is the zoom lens of 15 mm to 45 mm. But I use the other lens. So this is the combo that I use to shoot my videos and also to street photography. This one is the Fujinan lens with 35 mm and 1.4. So I just put it in so you guys can see how compact this combo is. Oh, you hear the click? The magical click. Okay, the price is cheaper compared to the x 100 p and you can change the lane. So why you have to like, spend a ton of money to buy the fixed lane? Am I right? Regretting the theme color stimulation, the only missing is the nostalgic negative, which is available on higher models. I think that's not a big drawback, you know, because you can test a lot of stimulation color with the available filter. Okay, so to give an objective and honest review about this one, I will show you some photo and video that I took from this camera. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart most of my photos I use the classic negative. It has great image qualities of 26 megapixel. To be honest, the Fuji film image quality is always beautiful. I shoot JPEG a lot and do the film stimulation great on the camera. So it doesn't require too much editing and it's convenient for me. Another thing that I like about this, but I didn't use it that much, is about the flap. It's not open. It's not open. Oh, it's weird. Because it's this one. It has the flap. You can see. You can open it right like this. 
is a good one, right? So I would say if you want to buy a small and compact, beautiful camera to travel around, this can be the good choice to consider. I pretty love it. I also bought it a tiny panda here to decorate it. Okay, so that wraps up the point I like about this camera. So what's in a minus point? So the first downside of this camera that I didn't like is the IBIS. IBIS stands for in-body image stabilization. So if you use this camera to vlogging and shooting videos, it won't be the good fit for you because it's not stabilized the footage. I can show you some footage I take by my handheld. I shoot videos by handheld a lot and you can tell it's give me the result of shaking footage like this well it is still usable you know but I do want it a little more stable okay now let me show you some footage that I'm taking by this camera but using it with the tripod you see the steel frame is a different level the second one this camera is not water steel at all and I live in Canada so it's quite risky for me to bring the camera outside on a snowy or rainy day. So it's either minus one. I really love my XT32, but if if I had to say one thing that annoys me the most is about the screen. You see? I vlogging a lot, so I need to see myself in the camera to see if I look good enough. Uh, did I look too hard? If I look silly, <laughs> that kind of thing. And this one is not satisfying me at all. Some people complaining about the viewfinder because you can see it's quite swallow. Uh, if they want to use the viewfinder like this, then their nose will top the screen. But that's it not a problem for me because look at my nose, it's not high. <laughs> so if you know, you know. Actually, today I sold the XP32 to purchase a new one because I'm blocking a lot and I need the stabilization in the body. Okay, let's unbox it. <laughs> I have two cameras side by side together here and I can show you guys the new one okay this is the XS20 and this is the XT32 is quite similar to each other right but this this one is in full black and this one have the vintage look the metal design right here but it's actually plastic and you guys can see I put some like tape on the bottom of the the body to make sure it's not scratched. It's also really small and has the eye bits inside this one. 
Okay, so now I will put the two cameras side by side for you to see what the difference between them and some basic comparison that I spot on. In the upcoming videos, I will taking the Fujifilm X-S20 to go along with me on the four-day trip in Montreal. I will make a vlog with it and I will reveal about the stabilization of it. So stay tuned and make sure you hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss out that one. All right, I think that's wrap up today's video. I hope that my honest review will help you in making the right decision to fit your need and also your budget. Don't forget to support me by clicking the like button below and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.